Hi friends, how's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel. This is Sherry. My channel is Turquoise Dreaming and I'm here today to do a flip through of this. I'm calling it a fall journal. So it's uh, made from a paperback book which I strengthened the cover and everything. But uh, it's got this little beaver and these little mushrooms on the front and I thought it was so cute for a fall journal. So I went ahead and and did it. So as you can see there's a little crochet flower right here. It's bound with metal coils and yesterday in my yesterday's video um, we made this pretty tassel together. Uh, I love the little pom-pom yarn here. It's so pretty and all the colors go so well with this journal and also you know all the fall colors. Uh, so this is the front. You, I strengthened the uh, edge here by adding some cardstock paper and then this little rick rack decoration and the back is also decorated if you saw where i created the video where we created the cover or you know worked on the cover together i uh took a page from the book and recovered the back because the the original back i wanted to do something to it and it just was a little i don't know it was a little boring to tell you the truth <laughs> so I think this is much prettier and then we added this little bit over here too uh, some you know extra paper here and some Rick Rack so it turned out really cute so let's get it on the inside uh, as you can see oh let me show you the top I've got all my decorated paper clips here with that that clip things into the journal and here's the side view of uh, I've got some pretty gold trims and clusters and things clipped in over here too so it's it's really um, turned out get you know great I think and I had a lot of fun working on it so uh, let me see it's a little bit wide as far as uh, when I open it up it's uh, eight and a half inches wide and six inches this way so it's a good size journal it's it's a great size for you know a journal and, and just a, a fun size so inside the covers uh, if you saw that video where we were working on the covers, we put this pretty green, or it's actually a craft cardstock with a design on it with this these little green pieces on it, really pretty. And we put a pocket here. So the pocket is here. It says fall right here. And then in here I have a couple of, this is a journaling card made out of a piece of, um, I used a scrapbook paper kit, um, collection kit from echopark.com that I showed you at the beginning. And anyway, this was one of the, uh, pieces from a, I guess it, I don't know if it, I think it was a scrap <laughs> and I turned it into a drilling card but really cute it has a little truck on there with pumpkins on it a little squirrel so that is in there and then this one too out of the cutoffs from this paper here that covers the inside of the covers I use all those scraps to make tags so here's one here where I add some stickers and you can write on the back so that is in there and then I left it open behind so there's a tuck spot or pocket behind and this is just a little journaling card made from whoops <laughs> I felt it going I couldn't stop it uh, from a cutoff also so you can do whatever you want with this it's double pretty double sided but I did put I love fall right there and it just tucks it's tucked in right there for you for whoever ends up with this so uh, the page let's flip the pages there's a flip out here. It says hello fall right here. And then when you see pages like this, you'll know they're from the book. And I'm just trying to see if you can see everything because this is so wide. <laughs> but, I mean, it's nine, what was I, what did I say? Eight and a half inches. So when you open it up, 16, 17 inches wide. So it's pretty wide for our camera. But anyway, page from the book here. This is a little book. It's got the copyright here. It is from 1980, 1980. Does it say 1980? Uh, let me get out of my own light here. 1980, yes. And then here's a cluster, a little fall cluster right there. And then on a few of the pages, I used this gold kind of lacy trim. So I thought it looked so pretty with these colors. And it's you've got it here on this book page. There's some trim here and a little vintage applique on this. This is coffee dyed, my coffee dyed Astro Brights papers that I like to use a lot. So that's what this is. I clipped on here. This is a little fall paper bag. Um, I don't think I really need to undo it. There's nothing in it. It's just for you to have fun with. You know, you could glue it down. I mean, I was going to, but I thought, let me just 
put, you know, I glued some things down and I clipped a lot of things in here so you can do what you want with it. You can cut it apart, you can um, use it as a whole, whatever you want, but that is in there. It says Happy Harvest with these this pretty fall scene here with the pumpkins. Then uh, this is cardstock here from the scrapbook paper kit. And, oops, and uh, I decorated the other side here with, this was a, a strip from the, you know, the stickers from the, I used all this, used up all the stickers from that collection kit, the scrapbook paper kit, and uh, a lot of them went into this journal. So there's, there was strips on there. So this was a rule, like, like looked like a ruler this strip here and I glued a piece right here with this little butterfly and then this is a piece of ephemera that I've been meaning to use and I finally said I'm going to put it in here and let somebody do what they want with it but a uh, nice little piece of ephemera here you can see it's from a hotel I don't remember where I got it and I don't know how old it is well here it says 1890s what is that telephone number 1897 it's like um let me just look let you look it may be Spanish, I'm not sure, but uh, wherever this hotel is, I'll see if I see it. If I see it here, I'll tell you, but you see it's kind of like um, sepia color. I don't know, like I said, I don't know where I got it or <laughs> how old it is, but um, I thought it was a pretty cool piece of ephemera. And look, there's a little map on the back here. Plano de Segovia. So I thought that was a pretty cool piece of ephemera that you could cut apart and use, make ephemera, whatever you want to do with it, decorate, but that's in here. This is from Ideals Magazine, pretty, this was in the uh, Thanksgiving, uh, Thanksgiving edition I got out to use to find pages to put in here. I thought this was really pretty, and also this side was really pretty. I have a little tab here, I don't know if you remember, a couple weeks ago I was using a tag, it was from... Uh, ephemera kit or collection kit and I cut off the top because I wanted to glue it down and I wanted it to be smaller so this was the top piece I cut off and I kept it and here it is I've used it now as a tab that was also hanging out on my desk here or my table here for me to use and I was like okay I'm gonna find a place for this and it's gonna be a tab in this journal so it's right there <laughs> I thought it made a cute little tab whenever I saw it so I have to use it as a tab little sticker here uh, flower. This is a record sleeve. So um, I cut it down a little bit. You know, it was a little taller, but I cut it down a little bit to fit in here. And I have the, you know, this is the circle for from the record sleeve. And I put a page from the book in here. So that is a page from the book that you can use. You see, it shows through both sides. So I cut the page down too to cut to fit in here properly. So you'll see that when you open it up. Page from the book here. Uh, this is a piece of scrapbook paper. You can see the pattern on this side. The pocket is sewn on. It is a burlap. You can see ribbon with sunflowers on it. And in here I have some ephemera for you. A few pieces. So this is a tag made from uh, made with wrapping paper. I thought that was so pretty. Backed with some cardstock. The cardstock is actually cardstock. It looks like cardboard, but this was actually cardstock that I have that looks like cardboard. I think it's really pretty. <laughs> if cardboard could be pretty, that, that's really pretty. And then we made some of these together, these little booklets made from the cut aparts uh, from the scrapbook paper kit. Added a sunflower here. Got a little fox on the back and writing space. This is coffee dyed paper in here, like a um, notebook paper or composition book. And this is a little leaf. I made some of these uh, last year, and this one I painted. And I just got out my Halloween and fall stash after I made this, and I wanted to see if there was anything else I wanted to put in here. And this was right on top, so I was like, okay, I have to put this orange leaf in here. So that is in there for you to, you can make a little tuck spot or whatever you want to do with that. And then here's another tag made from a cutoff from that paper that I used on the inside, inside of the cover with a couple of stickers. And there's plenty of writing space on the back of those. So all that is in that pocket. Get back in here, okay. And I love that pocket too with that ribbon. This is from an herbal book. I just like the colors, it says copper there, and I like the colors for this journal. Some brass or copper wire there. Uh, this is a uh, this was a divider, and here's the tab right here, so you can put something in here a divider page. It was you know like eight and a half by 11. 
type and I just cut it down to fit in here and there's the tab and I've got clipped on here an envelope there's nothing in it but it's just a pretty fun envelope that you can do something with you could glue it here that's why I put it there because I thought I wanted to I wanted to glue it there but that, let me put let me let somebody do what they want with it but um, yeah it's a pretty little uh, envelope it's got stripes here I don't know they're very it's white and kind of a peachy stripe there's a little coffee cup there and there's a stack of well maybe it's teacups but Anyway, there's one there and there's a stack here. It says, one good friend makes all the difference. So just a cute little size envelope there for someone to um, do what they want with and put something in there. And yeah, there's plenty of blank pages, bases and things to do. You know, make your own, uh, make this journal your own. Like you could even glue that, this envelope over here on this music page, things like that. There's a little sticker here. It says thankful and blessed. And then I've got a little collage of stickers there. Acorn and some leaves and a little flower. Leaves. <laughs> here I have a coin envelope. Again, another envelope I was tempted to glue down, but I didn't. So you can decorate this and glue it down somewhere if you'd like and make it a flip out or just glue it onto a page like that or whatever you want to do. Glue it onto a page like this or just whatever. You can even um, glue it down and make a pocket behind it. But anyway, and here I have a pinch of my butterflies to um, decorate with too. So that is in here. I have to remember where I have these because I have my paper clips all strategically placed here so you can all see them all from the top. And that's this paper is actually from a guest book. So this was a piece that was on a, in the collection kit, and it's a fold out, a flip out. So you can see all the pieces there, all the pretty pieces. And there I have some rick rack, and then on this side I just have a little label. This is wallpaper, has some cherries on it, and then this side was the blank side. And over here I have clipped a paper clip. I mean a paper clip, a postcard. <laughs> Wait a minute, it goes like this. Yeah, and it looked like it looks like an Edith Holden. It doesn't. I don't think it says. Well, yeah, it does say Edith Holden. And I don't know where I got this. I think I got it in Happy Mail. I actually think I got it in Happy Mail. It says published in 1977 there. So I'm taking that it's a vintage Edith Holden postcard. So it's the cute bird one, and I thought that went so well with this um, fall journal. And then fall in nature, I would say. And then this is a page from the book. Pages from the book are so cute. So here is, um, this is a flash card. So this is a card. Let me take the card off so you can see what I'm talking about. So I left this side of the flash card blank. You could decorate it, put a writing spot, put some paper here so you can write on here. But you could actually also glue it down as a pocket right there. See how that fits on there perfectly? <laughs> I cut it a little bit right down here so it fit in here perfectly. And I added the little trim here and the little leaf. So if you just wanted to glue here and here, this could be a pocket if you wanted it to. Or you can just keep it like it is. Like I said, decorate it more and add writing space, whatever you want to do. I thought it was just fun. And then on this page I have clipped a card here. Uh, this is a vintage card. Uh, it's called Coffee Talk. Blank inside. And it has this pretty coffee grinder and coffee cup on the front. Really cute. And I thought it went well with the fall theme. And then there's a little acorn right there. And some more of that gold trim that I was telling you about right there on that page. So scrapbook paper here, cardstock. And I had some I had some uh, cutoffs from the wrapping paper and I just glued them down in here. So like here's a piece here. I thought that I thought that was really pretty. And then you can go from there. You can add to it. You can add a piece of trim here. And just add, you know, whatever you want uh, and do whatever you want. If you're going to collage, you're going to draw something, you're going to write, you're going to glue, whatever. You can do whatever. It's This is this is sturdy cardstock. Okay, and so here's an envelope. And I think I got these from a, like a day planner. And they're probably, they're probably vintage. Or if they're not vintage, they're probably almost vintage. But I love these envelopes. And I put them, I put one in the journal I did like this last year. And I really love how it, how they can, I can just bind them in here. And they fit perfectly. I didn't have to, I don't think I had to cut it down at all. But uh, anyway, in here I just have a piece of my Astro Bright paper <clears throat> that you can use to do something with. Okay, so you can cut this up and make tags or glue it, 
glue it down, pieces of it, make clusters, make drilling cards, whatever you want. But that's coffee dyed Astro Brights paper. Over here I have a little flower sticker here on the side too. I mean, I'm moving this back and forth so you can see. But there's a little flower sticker there. Card stuck here with a little label you can write on. And a little flower right here. Page from the book. I had to put some of my, uh, this is coffee dyed on this side, but this is plaid scrapbook paper. Um, I have here, I put a little, this is a little piece from the branding strip that says Perfect Autumn. That was the name of the, the collection kit that I used. And I cut that little piece off there and put it, I thought it looked like, I thought this looked like clothing and that looked like a little tag on the clothing when I put it there. So I thought that was cute. And then this is a little kind of like a, it's kind of like business card size. You've probably seen these before, but if you haven't, there are little cards you can get. Uh, this says Universal on the back. Uh, it doesn't have a date or anything, but what, what this is and where I got this was, I have a few of these, not very many, but a few of these from a client that would, uh, when he, like from my office, where uh, they would uh, pay their like pay their bill or whatever they were sending if they mailed something to our office they would always put one of these little cards in there and they're all you know whenever they would come in they'd be all different so whenever you know they came in if i i'm i opened the mail so i would keep them you know once in a while somebody else would get a hold of one and i didn't <laughs> get to keep it then but whenever i got a hold of one i kept it so i have a few of them but I just think they're so cute and have a Bible verse on them. So very positive and and I just I just love them. So I put that one there and as a piece of ephemera. And then you can write on the back or glue it down somewhere. I mean it would be cute glued down somewhere and you can make a pocket and things like that. So just a fun little thing that I have floating around here that I thought I would put in here. Page from the book and I added a little kind of a 3D butterfly there. It's popped up. Uh, so a little butterfly on that one. Here I have uh, clipped a tag. These I made a few of these tags. And this is made from the paper that covered the collection kit. You know how you have the paper and you have a picture of all the, you know, they show you a sample of all the papers. I liked how this one was in stripes. So I made, I didn't put them all in here. But I felt like there was too many to put in here. But <laughs> here they all are, actually. I still have them here. And these were kind of big to put in here, too. But... See, they're all kind of, the cut. they're fall colors because they're from this kit. It's an autumn kit, autumn scrapbook paper kit. And I just uh, cut that bottom part off of that, you know, paper that goes over the scrapbook paper when you, you know, you get, get it. It's inside the cellophane. It's the front paper. And I cut it and just uh, glued it onto some cardstock. This is file folder. And made these little tags. Like, I think they came out really cute and, uh, it looks like paper strips, but it's just that paper from the cover of the kit. So that one, this one here fit in here nicely. So I clipped it right there with a decorated paper clip. So, and this is, uh, by the way, Astro Bright, copy dyed Astro Brights. And this little paper clip piece here was this edge. It looks very, it's coffee dyed and it was on uh, something and it was the edging and I used it was like on a piece of lace or something and I used I wanted to cut this edging off and use the lace for something else but then I didn't throw away the edging and I made little paper clips out of it because it just looked like an old vintage piece of fabric and that's what it is so so that is from that what that's from a little sticker there from the scrap of paper all these pages from the uh, book were so cute uh, this is another pocket. This one is, uh, this is the wrapping paper. Another piece, of, I put a couple different wrapping papers in here. So this is another wrapping paper I put in here. This was a pretty thick wrapping paper, so that's why I went ahead and flipped it up and made a pocket here. And I've got a couple of tags in here made from cutoffs and the stickers from the collection kit. This is not from, this paper is not from the collection kit, but this one was, I believe. And you can see the stickers. This one says thankful. This one says fall memory. He's got a little bird. And they're both blank on the back. So those are in there. And then one of our little booklets that we made together. This one with a little bird on it. A little flower right there. We, put, we made these together and we put two layers of flowers. Writing space. Autumn days are here again. Pretty little journaling card there. And then 
paper from the or page from the book. This is uh, Edith Holden. So this is a really pretty page that I picked out today that I thought looked good in here and would be pretty in here. I did add some of that gold lace trim here. I love that trim. I showed it to you when I got it and demonstrated it for you, but it's from globalland.com. Really, really pretty. And then see, here's a strip of that wrapping paper was it cut off and I just glued it down there as a decoration. Little flower sticker there. And then on this side was some of the trim from the uh, stickers from the scrap of paper and a butterfly. We added that together last in the last video. This is a uh, hidden paper clip. And this is a little game score sheet right here. So it's got the same lines, I think the same lines on the front and back. The little squares that you can write on. You can just use that as a drilling spot, glue it down somewhere, whatever you want to do. Another page from the Ideals magazine. And page from the book. Astro Bright's copy dyed paper. I've got a little trim here with a little um, yo-yo. Pretty little yo-yo here, a little mini yo-yo. And then on this side, uh, trim here. And then this is a little treat bag. A fall harvest treat bag that you can use to do something with. It's got paper in there. That's cool. I guess it came with paper in there. I didn't put that in there. <laughs> it came with paper in it. Huh. Anyway, that's for you to have fun with. And then uh, this is another page from, or you know what, it's the bottom part of that other page that I put in here from the like herbal book that I mentioned. With, and then, so this one says copper too, so it's from that same page. I just used, you know, part of it in the front and part of it, this is, we're getting toward the back here. And then a uh, page from the book. Music page. This looks like it's avocado dyed. And I just clipped a couple of labels here that you can use to put wherever you want. And then a pumpkin sticker there. And this is a um, flip out. This is wrapping paper again. And I used it as a flip out here and added this little... Uh, I print print. I have printed out words. I've told you before that I sometimes I'll print out words. I have a bunch printed now, so I don't need it. <laughs> like whenever I printed them out, I printed out a bunch, so I'm still using them. But um, you can make your own words and just go on your computer. If you have a printer and a computer and a word, you know, some kind of a word processing program, just type a bunch of words out, and then if it'll print on, uh, this is printed on file folder, so a file folder will go through your printer. You can print them on right onto this is cardstock, any kind of cardstock. Maybe you have a lighter weight plain cardstock and it won't go through file folder. Maybe you have some lightweight cardstock like white cardstock or something. You could just print your own words, whatever you think up, and put them, make them whatever size you want and print it out. And that's what I did. Um, I have a bunch of different sizes and different words in my stash to use in my journals. And this is a little bingo marker here that I added to it just as a little decoration. It says B, um, you can say B9, I think. B9. <laughs> so that's cardstock paper. This was one page, one page that was left from the book and I clipped it right here. I didn't use it, so it's here for you to cut up and use if you'd like and do whatever you want with it. But that is a, the last page from the book that I didn't use. And on this, this is Astro Bright's coffee dive. And there's a little strip of that, uh, leftover wrapping paper there. On this side I have uh, just another strip of that sticker that would look like a ruler. So that's there with a little flower. And then this page here was fun. I did a kind of an inside pocket as you can see here. Decorated it with a piece of, I have some burlap trim. This it just like this is what it is right here. And I got it at a thrift store. A long time ago and I still have some of it I, I came across I was like oh this would be great in here and I really need to use this up because I've had it forever so I did add glue to the back even though it's uh, technically it was technically already had sticky stuff on the back and I did fray it a little bit so um, it's frayed a little bit I just thought it was so pretty on this plaid paper and then I've got a sunflower there so it's an inside tuck pocket or whatever so you know it's right there and then I put in here a recipe. This is from a recipe collection. It's got nuts. Well, it's got beans on it. They look like nuts, actually. I just said nuts, but they're beans. Bean bag. 
So I thought that was pretty for the, the colors for fall with the orangey colors there. So you could add paper on the back and, and make this a journaling card or you could glue it down, cut it down. You could cut it in half and make two tags. That would be cute. So whatever, whatever you want to do, it's in here. Let me put it this way. And then this is another little journaling card that we made together. We did put the little flower on there and put paper, coffee dye paper on the back. So that is in there. And a page from the book. A divider page here you can do whatever you want with. It's, uh, you can see it's one of those plasticky clear ones and it's got the tab here so you can put something in the tab. But I think those are fun to add to a journal so when I can. Like they're perfect to bind end like this. And then a page from the book. And then this is wallpaper here where I added a little rickrack, as you can see, and a little number. And this is a little card I thought would be cute in here. It's just a little, you can see her on the front. She's so cute. Little bird, like a, you know, per, looks like a hall, is it a hallmark? It looks like a hallmark card. It says little children on the back. It doesn't say hallmark, but it just looks like a picture you would see in one of those little hallmark books or what you would see in a Hallmark card, but super pretty. It says thinking of you and has a little verse in here. So it's just a very um, encouraging type uh, card that you can write on or do whatever. Use it as a card if you want. And then, so that was wallpaper, the wallpaper with the cherries. There's a cherry right here. And then this right here is the back cover. So this is a pocket. We put this in together. See there's that paper. And it says, Hello Fall. Uh, and this was a strip from the scrapbook paper kit that already was decorated like this. And remember, if you saw that video, I said, Oh, it's so cool. It's already decorated. I don't have to decorate it. It's just perfect the way it is. And then uh, this is a little tag here. This little fox so thankful for you. So cute. And then this is another... You know, using up the cutoffs from this paper here, another tag. A little mushroom, little wreath with a little mushroom, writing space on the back. So those two are in there. And then it just closes up, and there you go. It's all ready to go. Hope you enjoyed this little uh, process of making this journal. Stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to be getting out my Halloween stash and see what I have. I want to make... I want to make it two journal, two Halloween journals. I know one book I have in my head that I know that I got last year, specifically for this year, to make a journal. So hopefully I can find the book. Hopefully it's in my Halloween stash, and then hopefully I have another book in there. If I don't, I have Halloween fabric that I would like to also use, that I need to use. So one might be fabric, my, one might be a little golden book, and uh, so stay tuned. Well, we'll see what I have. I don't remember. Well, we'll discover it again together, and I'll see you in that video, which will be next. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.